everyone and welcome back to our channel. So by the title you guys should know that I am doing a chatty get ready with me. This is the first time I've ever done something like this but I'm actually getting ready to film a cookie recipe. It's like my favorite cookie to have at, Chris at Christmas time. So if you guys want to know what my favorite Christmas cookie is then definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on my recipe that I'm gonna be filming after this. I guess let's just go ahead and I'll just start getting ready. I already, I actually just got out of the shower, I washed my hair, and I blew dry it almost completely dry. So I'm just gonna pull it back. I try not to pull my hair back too tight after I've dried it because I get kinks so easy. So I just like super lightly put it back. Also, I already moisturized. Um, so I already did that. I like to do that before I blow dry my hair or actually like a little bit. If I'm not blow drying my hair, I'd like to put my moisturizer on a little bit before I put my makeup on just so it has time to sink in. So I've already got it on and I'm moisturized. I'm not going to say the products that I'm using because that's not the kind of video this is. This is just I'm getting ready and I'm talking. I wanted to have a little talk about why we haven't been uploading as much. We used to upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We have not been doing that um, recently and there are a few reasons. The first reason is it's the holidays. Life gets crazy, especially those of you who might have preemies um, or have children in therapy, you know that therapists, it's not like school, they're, they're not on the school schedule, but they do tend to take the week of the holiday off. But they are also, they also try to reschedule what they're gonna be missing. At Thanksgiving it wasn't really too bad because she only had like one therapy she had to reschedule I think at that time but still it was it made it a double therapy day um, on top of some other appointments that she had so it's just really busy around the holidays next week is actually going to be next week for me this week for you guys because I'm filming this on a Friday so this will most likely go up on a Monday um, but next week for me is gonna be in Insane, you guys. I'm really not looking forward to it just because it's gonna be so busy and I just don't want to be late for anything and I don't want to stress her out. Hopefully she doesn't. Hopefully I'm able to do everything nice and smooth. Um, so next week she has actually one of her things that we thought was next week her MRI we thought was next week but it's actually going to be the following week. So that's good, that's taken off my plate. But for those of you that don't know, Magnolia has four therapies that she does a week. If you wanna know a little bit more about that, you can definitely check out my therapy update video. So she does four therapies. She does early intervention, which is just kinda like an all over therapy kind of. Um, kinda to help us like learn how to help her out. So we do that. And then we do occupational therapy and we do physical therapy and speech therapy on top of just regular appointments that babies have. So she just turned nine months today. So she has her nine month appointment on top of that next week. We also have another just kind of like follow up appointment next week. And then actually this past week, um, our early interventionist was not able to come on her scheduled day because they had a mandatory meeting in their office so she was not able to come so re so she rescheduled that for next week on top of when she already comes so that's another therapy so it's just gonna be it's just busy so that's one reason <laughs> I was getting so off topic that is one reason why we have not been filming uploading things like that and then another reason might seem a little bit silly but if you do YouTube or if you have like an Instagram or anything like that where you have people who I don't want to say my followers because it's not really people who I'm gonna get a little bit close because I'm actually looking in this mirror over here it's usually not your subscribers or your followers that say 
negative things. It's usually people that have never watched your channel before. They just kind of stumble on a video and then all of a sudden they feel like they are experts on your life. They feel like they can comment and tell you that you're doing a bad job. So I have been getting a few, I have been getting a little bit more of that lately and it's not easy. Especially when you feel like you are doing everything that you can and you are so busy, like you know that there's things that you would like to do different or that you'd like to do more of, but you can't because you're just so busy, because you have therapy, because your child was whatever, why, you know, for us, our baby was born early, so she is behind. It's just not easy. And sometimes that makes me not want to film, it makes me not want to share our life and things like that because I really don't want to read those mean comments. But, you know, they are so few and far between, like out of our however many comments we get, you know, it might just be one or two that's not nice. But, you know, it's always like, that. what's that saying? Like, like one person ruins it for everybody. It's kind of like that. Like, that one mean comment, like, totally ruins my day. Even if I have, you know, X amount of good comments. You just, I think it's just in our nature to focus on the negative comment. So that's another reason. And I've been getting a few comments like in real life that just kind of have bothered me. <laughs> like the other day in Hobby Lobby. That was not fun. Maybe that lady was just having a bad day. While I'm talking about it, I'll go ahead and tell you what happened. So I was at Hobby Lobby. If you guys don't know, if you guys are kind of new to the channel, my daughter has a massive hemangioma over her eye and it is a giant like goose egg like it looks like she has a giant bubble on her face she is on medication for it and they do go away on their own but it's there and we get a lot of comments nasty comments about it saying that they're gonna report us um, for like child abuse because they think we have hit her or dropped her or whatever when really she was just born with I mean GMO which is a blood tumor so we were at Hoppy Lobby and I was changing her diaper um, in the bathroom and she was not happy she was not happy about it at all and there was an older lady who was washing her hands kind of like behind Magnolia so I was changing her diaper and so like the lady was like behind where she was. Magnolia was just like screaming and crying and carrying on and so I was like joking around. I was like, oh help me, she's saying help me, help me because she was like arching her back and trying to look at this lady and just like, cause she was washing her hands and she could hear the noise and just like watching this lady and like trying to, and she was like crying. So I was just joking, I was like, oh help me. The lady like glared at me and then I picked up Magnolia because I was done changing her diaper and I was like having her stand up and I was holding her and the lady like looked at her and was like, what did you do? Drop her? I was like, really lady? Are you serious? So that just kind of ruffled my feathers <laughs> a little bit. Um, and that was, a, that was like a week ago, over a week ago and it's still kind of bothering me. Just because, I don't know, because I am trying so hard and I can't help if my baby was born with a hemangioma on her face. I can't help it. So yeah, that's just what's been going on with us. So actually, speaking of her hemangioma, we went to her doctor today. She weighs 17 pounds, 13 ounces. So we're going up on her medication. We're actually going in for an MRI because the hemangioma is not getting smaller that we can see. So actually what the doctor said, cause to us it looks like it's staying big and it's not going down. Um, whereas the other ones on her body, so she has one on her like diaper area, like between her stomach, kind of like on her, I don't know, her diaper area. There's one there and there's one on her back and then um, like a few on her side and then the ones on her eye and one on her mouth. 
So the one on her diaper area and her back are like going away. Like they are deflating. They're pretty much all the way deflated. It's just kind of like skin now. Um, but the one on her eye, we have not noticed any difference, like no difference at all. So not getting bigger, not getting smaller. So we are gonna do an MRI to look at it and see what's going on. What the doctor said is ones that are so deep, it's like a really deep one that, and it's under the skin, it's not outside like the, her other ones are, it's under the skin, that you can't see what's going on. Like you can't see, because even the one on her stomach, um, it's like, it's still big, but the color is changing. So that's how you know that something different is going on. It's kind of deflating, but the skin is still there. So it's kind of the same thing with her eye. Like it could be changing, but we don't know because it's under the skin and you can't see the color. So we're just gonna get an MRI just to see what's going on. Cause we tried to get an MRI of it before, but they were not able to get an IV in. So hopefully now that she's a little bit older, a little bit bigger, they will be able to get um, her IV in. I'm gonna attempt to do my lips. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. So we couldn't get the MRI in, or we couldn't get the IV in, so she ended up not getting an MRI done. So now that she's bigger and older, hopefully we will be able to get the IV in. We'll be doing that on the 17th, I believe. So, um, yeah, early in the morning. Yeah, so it's just been crazy. So I'm going to be trying to get back into filming. Um, and it kind of stinks because it makes me really not want to read the comments because I know there's going to be rude ones in there. But I really like interacting with you guys and reading your nice comments, the ones who are nice. Yeah, it just ruins it for everybody. I think I might just have, like, I might just wait a day to read the comments to give Robert a chance to go through and, like, get rid of the mean ones so I can read them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about it, but that is it. That's what's been going on. That's my makeup done. Yeah, I'm going to go make some cookies now, actually. I'm going to go to the grocery store and get butter first, because I need butter, and then I'm going to make cookies. But I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you like this kind of video, this like chatty, just sit here and talk to you guys. I know that I enjoy watching these sometimes just because Sometimes I just like to hear and not have to watch something. I just like to be able to listen, like when I'm doing dishes or something. So let me know in the comments below if you like these kind of videos and leave any video suggestions or questions you have down in the comments below. And we will see you guys next time. Bye.